Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Taha and I am conducting the overview of the simulation. How can it be done? Before going into the depth, I will let you know the most important step of this simulation and it is the balanced chemical equation. Uh, basically, in this simulation, we will be using uh, methane CH4 as fuel and it can be combusted into two ways, whether it is in a single step like uh, CH4 plus O2, CO2, carbon dioxide and water and heat. This is a single step method, two step method. And this is the two-step method. Uh, kindly keep in mind the stationary fractions involved in the balance equation. And it will further be used in the simulation as well. Now let's get straight into the simulation. The first step involving in the simulation is geometric designing. As you have sent it to me, so uh, there is no need to change it. There's a geometry and you are doing it on your own way. Don't forget to extract the fluid domain from it because it is the most important step in the application of uh, boundary conditions to it. Second step involves the meshing. Double click to mesh and this window will pop up. Uh, meshing, by the way, it is the discretization of your model uh, in a static structural and a model plus flow domain in CFD cases. Just want to give you some uh, extracts of my two years of hard work in ANSYS Fluent. Uh, when you are meshing, if it is a cylindrical case, always use Swift method, uh, like uh, method apply to all boundary, apply, and from method use sweep for a cylindrical case. But for your model, you can use things like sizing. Please turn on uh, the featuring size. Turn on curvature for uh, accepting the curves in your model. And then turn on your proximity. Uh, it will mesh the small openings, uh, the small holes afterwards. You can play around element size according to your uh, processing power of your computer. After this, you need to name the selected boundaries like inlet, outlet. In your case, there's the fuel input. These holes is for primary inlet, that's for secondary and that's for dilution. And the last one is outlet. And the naming of boundaries, basically uh, the purpose behind it is we will, in the fluent step, we will apply the boundary conditions to it. Double click to set up and a window uh, fluent will show up from the general. Double click to general. And here a task page open from where you can check any errors console can check from here. You can check the mesh quality and if it is uh, in the acceptable range, then you will go further. Next step, the opening of models, double click to it. Basically for the flow of anything like uh, air, like combustion gases, you need to turn on the viscous. So please double click to viscous and there are uh, so many models. But the most important for our uh, application is K epsilon. For heat transfer, turn on energy equation. Just check it and then press OK. And for combustion particle analysis, turn on species. Please select species transport and before editing, uh, apply material to it. 
double click to it from the fluent database you can select methane air to step and press copy and close now come back to species press edit and before this uh, define the number of volumetric species we have a, a used a methane ch4 oxygen o2 carbon monoxide co carbon dioxide water and nitrogen gas n2 so all together make six so please write here select addition from turbulence chemistry interaction and press edit from mixture species edit when you are assigning it the selected species present in the available material so press any material and click add and this will uh, shown in here and press ok from this step uh, you need to define the chemical equations which i have um, shown you earlier there should be two equations so number of reactions should be two uh, select volumetric a reaction type now the number one equation is for methane plus oxygen gives carbon monoxide and water a methane has only one stoichiometric oxygen has 3.2 that means 1.5 carbon monoxide has one that is product and h2o has two so write it there and for second equa uh, equation uh, move it to id number 2 and the equation is carbon monoxide plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide carbon monoxide has one stoichiometric fraction so write one here oxygen has half so uh, write 0.5 and carbon monoxide has one so write one here and press okay and after that specific heat at constant pressure select mixing law not the piece wise function and press close then comes the application of boundary conditions like as i have told you about the five inlet double click to it and in the species you need to give what you have sent me 0.7 h2o.3 uh, that means 30% of uh, h2o and press apply and likewise a uh, mass flow rate also is 0.72 0.72 uh, right uh, 0.72 here and a species oxygen 0.233 and likewise set primary dilution and secondary inlet as values given the port you have sent me earlier set outlet as pressure from here wall and assign a species with the diffusive flux now comes the report definitions and before that comes residuals please set residuals to 1 exponent minus 6 for energy let other remains unchanged and check the conversions it will let you know uh, the conversions point double click to initialize you can use hybrid initialization and press initialize hybrid initialization is done calculation set uh, the iterations according to your processing power of your computer i just write uh, 100 and press calculate you can see data, data for continuity velocity energy uh and the pollutants i am going to stop uh, here you can check contours from fluent as well from results and graphics press control 
you can have pressure controls uh, most well you need to know the temperature control just write temp and select all from here save and display likewise you have fraction of carbon monoxide display like if you want to have the pressure clots the curve will let you know uh, the fuel is injected at very high pressure uh, around 3x.5 and likewise the outlet has around 5x.4 and you can uh, view it uh, from CFD post as well double click to results and the CFD post window will pop up uh, from there this you can use the contours like uh, temperature from here press three dots and select all and okay uh, set the uh, number of contours around 125 and from variable select is uh, temperature and and apply wireframe close wireframe see the maximum temperature flow temperature variations from inlet to outlet uh, and far towards the secondary inlets and that's how we can do a simulation for combustion if you have any questions any queries you can message me